Okay, so this is a Shimpo uh, pottery wheel. I'm not a pottery person, my wife is, but I made this modification for her. There's the model information um, if you need that. But what she wanted was the ability for the table to be higher than it came from the factory. So what I did was I went to Lowe's, or Home Depot actually, and I bought some aluminum fence posts, it's galvanized steel. And the legs for the Shimpo post go perfectly inside the fence post. So I painted it black. Um, and then what I did was um, I, I just cut three, I just bought one fence post and I cut it three times for all three of these legs and whatever length that I wanted it to be. You don't need to get that length exact, like on all three to be exactly the same because you're able to move the leg height to where it's level and it doesn't matter if, you know, this one's a tiny bit shorter than that one over there um, because I can still level it up. <clears throat> Just don't make it like Willy Wonka crazy. So then what I did after cutting them, the, the three links, I cut slits in them here using a, um, an angle grinder. And so there's a slit that goes all the way down here. There's also one on the opposite side over here. It's exactly the same. If I were to do it again, I would cut four of them and I would cut slits you know, like on all four sides of the circle. It just makes it easier to clamp. Initially, I used hose clamps, just normal standard hose clamps that you would buy at Home Depot. But um, that proved I, I, to not work very well. I needed to squeeze it just a little bit tighter than the hose clamps were able to do. So what I did was I went and bought uh, two and one eighth inch exhaust clamps at Advanced Auto Parts. You can also get them at, at AutoZone. Um, it's kind of the perfect fit. The pipe is actually two and one eighths inch. I had to tap it on with a hammer to get it to go fully on, but then I'm able to use steel bolts to pull the and squeeze the fence post around the legs of the pottery wheel. Now I can adjust the height of the table. If she wants it down lower, then I can adjust it down lower. Um, if she wants it up higher, I can do that too. You'll notice the only, I can only lower it about, uh, probably that's about five inches. Um, it's 11 inches off the ground right now. If I were to do it over again, I would change the height of these so that I can lower it down lower if I wanted to. Um, and that may be a modification I make later if it becomes a problem, but I don't think she wants it that low. Um, the last thing I did, if you needed to do it, I put duct tape inside this leg. So when I pulled the leg up, I put duct tape around it just to take up the extra space, kind of like a gasket but I don't think that ends up making a difference in the long run. Um, using these exhaust clamps really makes a huge difference. I was able to actually sit on the table and none of the legs gave at all. So just a little, a little quick look around at all of them. There's an exhaust clamp there. Just notice she, she normally sits over there. So I set this exhaust clamp and the bolts to face away from her just to keep in mind comfort. And there's the third one here. Again, that one also faces away from where she would sit. So um, if you were to buy these Shimpo legs, they're not adjustable. They are adjustable for other brands, but Shimpo has some fixed legs, some fixed extensions that you can buy. It didn't look good to me and they were over $200. This pipe cost me about maybe $12, I think. And the clamps cost me three bucks a piece. So it's a pretty good deal.